Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to have the first tasting of my El Dorado beer with uh, Turo and Marisader malts. Uh, so I brewed um, an El Dorado smash with two row using US05, then El Dorado two row with SO4, and then I brewed an El Dorado with um, Marisader with USO5. I'm not sure why I didn't do uh, El Dorado Marisader SO4, but I didn't. Um, so this is taking, um, this is a small gallon batch, 1.25 gallons going into the carboy. Uh, one pound, eight ounces of two row, one pound of Marisader, then our boil point. 39 ounces at 30 minutes, 0.29 ounces at five minutes, 0.32 ounces, uh, three days into dry hopped. Uh, oh, and I used half a pound, or half a pound, half an ounce of El Dorado in the Whirlpool, 15 minutes at 170. I forgot about that. That's why you print these things out. Um, I totally forgot about that, that this is using uh, USO5, like I said. Uh, bottled on 114, 7.39%. Um, I mentioned this in the last beer or uh, review of the Maris Otter version. Um, that Maris Otter and this one, I actually brewed on December 31st, but I didn't bottle until 114. I actually forgot about them. I have this big calculator, or calculator, Excel file that holds what I'm brewing, what stage you're in, all that. And I actually put the wrong date in there. So I forgot about them. I, for, I forgot to update it. So it sat there until I realized, well, wait a minute. And I went back and pulled this and this shows December 31st. Now, um, I actually, uh, Brad Smith emailed uh, for Beer Smith um, sent us an email to reply back to about uh, what we think about the software, his channel, all that. And one thing I mentioned to him is I wish when you would copy, um, I have a default profile or a default uh, recipe uh, for like my smash beers, then my two hot beers and my three hot beers. And when you copy those and then you open it or change the name and open it, it always keeps the date that that was made. And so sometimes because I do it a lot, um, I'm not always a hundred percent if the date on the uh, sheet is correct. I wanted him to make it. So if you copied something, it goes to the date you copied it on instead of the older date, but that's just a little rant. Let's go ahead and open this, see what we think. This is using four carbonation tablets. So all the rest of these in the series have used four except for the first one. I used six in that just so we could kind of see what the carbonation level is like. Now this is behind two months, or two months, two weeks because it wasn't bottled until the 14th and all the other ones were bottled on one one, I believe. So let's go ahead and get it in here see what we get uh this one should be bursting i would think with el dorado um uh in the aroma we could get oh we gonna go over um for the profile of el dorado tropical fruit pineapple mango aromas a pear watermelon stone fruit and candy um, the USO or the SO4 version is the only one I got maybe a hint of, um, of pineapple in. All the rest of them pretty much smelled like citrus. So this should be an interesting one. To me, this would be your standard beer. Uh, what did I say? Yeah, 7.39%. Um, uh, I would say I would call this an IPA. This is using more, you can make an IPA with only one grain, but you know, we're using more than one grain. We're putting hops in the boil. We're putting them in the whirlpool. We're also dry hopping with them. So I would say if anything, 
this one out of all of the El Dorado series should be the closest to a real real beer. Um, I'm surprised by the carbonation level on this as the one that used Maris Otter didn't have this. Um, Off-white, tannish head, small and medium bubbles. I'm already starting to get some peaks. About two fingers of head. Bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap. Color, um, very nice hazy burnt orange color carbonation level looks good uh, medium or so but this looks like a hazy ipa like uh, in between a hazy ipa and the color of a, like a very orange forward color new england ipa let's go ahead and smell I don't think that's watermelon. It's almost like a fruity pear watermelon with a touch of citrus in there. I don't know if it's from the head. I mean, it's like meringue. Yeah. It, a, a little fruity pear touch of watermelon with a hint of citrus in there is what I get. Which, this is the first one that has uh, brought the pear and the watermelon. My guess it's because we use 0.5 ounces of Amarillo in the Whirlpool. And I don't know if I said dry hop. Yeah, I did say dry hop. So, um, that Whirlpool is really going to bring up that aroma, I feel. Um, so let's go ahead and taste this. Very, uh, very malty, like very thick malty beer. Um, you get some of that tropical fruit up front and that's it. Um, bitterness is very, seems very low, comes off very low. Um, that, that maltiness does carry through the whole entire palate. And that's it. There's some tropical fruit in there, like generic tropical fruit, but it mixes very well with that malt. Um, I, I, I think I get more marisada taste, like a toasted bread, more of a toasted bread quality than anything in this one. Um, I think it needs more hops. I think if anything right now that malt is taken over a little too much in this beer. So I would have liked to see, I, I mean, not that I can't do another test. Instead of half an ounce in the Whirlpool, do a full ounce in the Whirlpool. Because it's there. It, it's there the most in this beer versus the other ones. But we'll do some side-by-sides. Uh, but yeah, if anything right now, that malt is a little bit overpowering. But yeah, uh, I think it's solid. Would I make a five gallon batch? Not of this one. Too much malt. I want more hops in it. But the head retention is good. Um, the, the flavors are coming through, but like I said, it needs more El Dorado. Uh, maybe some citrus or Citra and Warrior might be good. I think the, at least my mind is saying for the malt that I'm getting, it needs more bitterness. Now I do believe per Beersmith, this is 62.8 IBUs. Uh, it does not taste like it at all. Um, again, down around the third, 20, 30 range, um, it's really not there. Now that malt could be, um, uh, covering a lot of that up right now because it is young. Uh, it's only been in the bottle for two, two and a half weeks. 
Uh, but yeah, overall, I, I think it's doing well and I can't wait to see next month um, what it's doing. So yeah, if you like this review, check out some more over here. And until next time, happy brewing.